October is a big month in the art world with plenty of artists seeking inspiration from spooky Halloween themes. <laughs> it sure is. And CU isn't missing out on all the fun because a new haunted art show is happening in downtown Champaign. Storyteller Aaron Valley is here with us now and you went and checked it out. You know, art isn't always about beauty. Sometimes you just have to let your imagination run wild, okay? okay. And that's what you're going to see at this art exhibit. I spoke with the curator and one of the artists behind art that goes bump in the night. Take a look. Take a look at these goosebump inducing pieces. <laughs> Welcome to Acme Elfwork Studio in downtown Champaign, the proud headquarters of assemblage artist and photographer, Melissa Mitchell. It's where uh, all the crazy art happens. Um, a lot of it I uh, make out of repurposed found objects, anything from architectural salvage to doll heads, which people <laughs> seem to leave on my doorstep <laughs> at home and at the studio. Yep, people in the community know Melissa as the doll lady, and they're happy to support her. It's not unusual to come in here and find a garbage bag um, at the door with <laughs> a doll or two in it. For many creatives, Halloween is the perfect excuse to explore the dark and mysterious. So it's no surprise that this matriarch of creepishly delightful art is hosting a haunted art show at her downtown studio where she's invited local artists to display their Halloween-themed work. When I do shows in there, I just thought it'd be fun to bring some of my friends along for the ride and pick a theme. And so this year, for October, it's haunted. And I curate the show and invite the artists. Art lovers can enjoy everything from ghostly paintings to bone-chilling photography. The show features the work of 14 different artists ranging from central Illinois to Missouri and even Hawaii. You say the word haunted, what do you think of? Haunted house? Um, you think of black cats, you think of monsters and ghouls and ghosts, you know, the typical Halloween stuff. For Champaign-based digital artist James Taylor, this show is his first. The inspiration for his piece, Not So Innocent, came after James stumbled across a stock image of this model online. And I just thought she looked extremely innocent in this particular picture. And then I went, you know, I'd, some of her other pictures say she's really not. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her a little bit of a twist with uh, the blood and the, and the horns. And so she became a vampire demon girl. Melissa says she's so passionate about supporting local artists in the community because she believes support is at the core of Champaign-Urbana's healthy art scene. It's, it's thriving. It's just thriving. Um, I mean, I think part of that is we have a good art and design school here at the University of Illinois, and that's probably what feeds a lot of it. But, um, yeah, there's just there's a, a embarrassment of riches when it comes to the arts. And in the past few years, I've seen the art just the community really come together a lot too to support each other and that support includes young artists like natalie brady and saffron bruno this guy right here he's so cute yeah i love him so much the two university of illinois art students said they came to the show on opening night because they wanted to spend their friday night doing something artsy i caught up with them as they checked out one of their favorite pieces in the exhibit it's giving me alice in wonderland vibes yeah for sure mm -hmm. and the eyes very Intriguing. The eye, just like that one over there. Oh my God. Lots of eyes tonight. We love eyes. And for anyone wanting to take home their own haunted art, the pieces in the show are for sale. And I give the artists 100% of, I don't take a commission on the sales. They get all the profit. And I just, you know, love supporting my community. The show is open now through November 2nd. The hours are Fridays from noon to 6 p.m. and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Plus, there's a Day of the Dead Rat Party on November 2nd, and all are welcome to come join the fun. Pretty cool, huh?